four, listen. Before we listen, if you read these statements right here, and if you listen to this recording I have, you will find that a lot of vocabulary words we have today are all from 4D1 vocabulary. This is why, please watch that video before you continue this one. A. Listen to a live news report. What is a news report? News report is the newly received information. And tick the events that happened. Where are the events? Here they are. Here are the events. You will listen to the recording. Has this happened? River overflowed. Has this happened in the recording? If you hear about a river overflowing, then you tick this. If you hear about roads flooded, then you tick here. If you hear about bridges falling down, you tick here. Helicopter crashing. Hospital collapsing. B. Listen again and write T for true and F for false. It started raining two days ago. The raining has started two days ago and it is still going until now. Is it true? Blackford has flooded in the past. Blackford is the name of the city we are listening about. Is it the first time this city is flooding? Or has, has this happened before? 3. Local authorities, people who are in charge, didn't have time to give warning to the people who live in that town. 4. Rescue teams can't use cars. Cars can't be used. Only helicopters and boats. 5. A few people died when old buildings collapsed. Do we have deaths? Human losses? 6. The man swam. Swam is the past tense of swim. The man swam to a rescue boat to be saved. Now listen and find out. This is James Thompson, live from Blackford, where it hasn't stopped raining for the past two days. Mr. Jenkins, a town council member, is here to inform us about the situation at the moment. This is the worst flood the town has experienced in the past 30 years. We cannot describe the damage, and more importantly, there are about 300 residents in danger as we speak. That's a big number. I know. We had asked residents to evacuate their homes yesterday, when the river began overflowing. Unfortunately, many of them decided to stay and can't get out. I can see the rescue teams trying to help. They've got a tough job, because all the roads are flooded. The amount of water is incredible. Three out of the four bridges have collapsed, so the rescue teams are using helicopters and boats. Thank you, Mr Jenkins. Oh, there's rescue team leader Robert Simpson. Mr. Simpson, will you please tell us what your teams are doing? Well, there are rescue teams all over the town. We're evacuating all the old buildings first. You see, a few have collapsed and we're worried that more will fall. Do you mean we have deaths? Fortunately, we had evacuated the buildings before they collapsed. I'm sorry, but I have to get back to work. At the moment, we're evacuating the hospital. Thank you for your time. Excuse me, sir. I see that you just got out of a boat. What happened? Oh, it's a long story. I live near the river. I was in my house when the water started coming in from everywhere. I can't swim, so I ran upstairs. But soon the water started coming up the stairs. Fortunately, one of the rescue teams heard me screaming, and here I am. You're very lucky. OK, have you found all the answers? If yes, good for you. If no, try to listen to this recording one more time. Just rewind these last few minutes and re-listen to the recording. Maybe you will get the answers the second time. If you did that and still unable to answer these exercises, then follow me. 
this is the listening transcript. We will read it together and then we will go back to the previous questions and we will answer them. Reporter. Reporter is the one who works to report news. This is James Thompson. Live. Live means on air. It's not recorded. It's live. Live is the opposite of recorded. From Blackford where it hasn't stopped raining for the past two days okay it's been raining for two days notice this is the answer of one of the questions Mr. Jenkins a town council member Mr. Jenkins is a town council member he is a local authority is here to inform us to tell us about the situation about what's going on at the moment this is the worst flood the town has experienced in the past 30 years okay this is the worst that happened in the past 30 years but maybe before these 30 years Blackford has experienced a similar flood or even worse we cannot describe we cannot tell you the damage and more importantly there are about 300 residents in danger as we speak 300 people are in danger now as we speak we are speaking now so they are in danger now at this moment that's a big number I know we had asked residents to evacuate to evacuate leave their houses yesterday when the river began overflowing unfortunately the bad thing is that many of them decided chose to stay and can't get out we can understand why these people decided not to leave their homes because they these are their homes it's not easy to leave your home but in a situation like this when it gets dangerous you have to evacuate you have to leave I can see the rescue teams trying to help they've got a tough job a tough job a difficult hard job because all the roads are flooded roads are filled with water the amount of water is incredible is huge a lot a lot of water do you see the area here is completely flooded with water three out of the four bridges have collapsed in that town they have four bridges three of these bridges have collapsed destroyed so the rescue teams are using helicopters and boats you can't use cars why bridges collapsed roads flooded thank you mr jenkins oh there is rescue team leader when you are a leader you are like a, a boss a captain you lead you are the head of your people Robert Simpson Robert Simpson is the name of the leader of the rescue team Mr. Simpson will you please tell us what your teams are doing well there are rescue teams all over the town all over the town means everywhere rescue teams are everywhere we are evacuating all the old buildings first why old buildings first because they can easily collapse because they are not strong they are old and they can easily collapse new buildings are stronger tougher they can hold you see a few have collapsed and we are worried that more will fall more buildings will fall will collapse do you mean we have deaths have people died Fortunately, we had evacuated the buildings before they collapsed. No, nobody died. Nobody died because we evacuated. We let people, we rescued people before the buildings fell down. I'm sorry, but I have to get back to work. At the moment, we are evacuating the hospital. Even the hospital flooded filled with water so the rescue teams had to let the people inside the hospital go out move to some other place 
Thank you for your time. Excuse me, sir. I see that you just got out of a boat. What happened? Oh, it's a long story. This man is a survivor. He was able to survive, not die. I live near the river. I was in my house when the water started coming in from everywhere. He was just sitting in the house. Then water started coming from everywhere. I can't swim. So I ran upstairs. So in his house, there is more than one floor, like a the ground floor, the first floor, the second floor. He went upstairs, just like the man in the picture is going upstairs. When you go downstairs, that means you are moving the opposite way. But soon, the water started coming up the stairs. You use the stairs to go upstairs and downstairs. Fortunately, the good thing one of the rescue teams heard me screaming. When you scream, like, help! That is screaming. And here I am. They saved me. They helped me using a boat. You're very lucky. Okay, now we are back to our questions. Has a river overflowed? Yes, it has. Have roads flooded, filled with water? Yes, they have. Have bridges collapsed? Yes, three bridges, three out of four, have collapsed. Has a helicopter crashed? Well, we said that uh, the rescue teams are using helicopters to help people, but we didn't read that uh, a helicopter was crashed, so no, don't tick this. Has a hospital collapsed? No, rescue teams are evacuating the hospital because it's it's now flooded and people can't stay in it, but it hasn't collapsed. B. True or false? It started raining two days ago. Well, yes. Blackford has flooded in the past. Well, this flood was the worst in the past 30 years. Before that, maybe yes. True. Local authorities, the town council member, didn't have time to warn the residents. No, well, they actually warned them when the river started flowing, but they didn't listen. Some of them decided, chose to stay in their homes, in their houses. So, no, false. They had the time and they warned the people, but the people stayed because they love their homes. Four, rescue teams can't use cars. Yes, because the bridges have collapsed, roads have flooded, they are using boats and helicopters. 5. A few people died when old building collapsed? Fortunately, no. Nobody died. Rescue teams helped them before they collapsed. Yes, it's true that some old buildings have collapsed, but nobody died. People were already out. 6. The man swam to a rescue boat the man said that he can't swim and he was screaming for help and then rescue teams help, helped him using a boat so he didn't swim false thank you for watching this video if you like it please share it with friends goodbye